towering almost 400 feet above the main gateway into Jerusalem is a string suspension bridge known as David's Harp, a striking symbol of a monarch who was a skilled musician and the greatest king ever to rule over Israel. For the past 2,000 years, however, the seraphic sounds of a Davidic harp ensemble have all but vanished after the destruction of the Second Temple. Harp music was central to the 24-hour, seven days a week temple worship King David initiated, also referred to in scripture as the Tabernacle of David. Michael David, a classically trained Canadian musician, launched Israel's first modern school of the harp in the city of Jerusalem. It's an appropriate venture for those who see the reintroduction of harp worship as a necessary component of the times of the final redemption, the days immediately preceding the coming of Messiah. The harp is being restored as an instrument, as a primary instrument of leading worship. This school marks a shift towards that direction. From beginners to professionals, Michael David's 14 harp students have been drawn to Jerusalem from six nations to be mentored in a unique style of harp playing. Although music technique is core to Michael David's curriculum, it takes a backseat to improvisation and being led by the whims and nuances of the spirit. He has modeled his school after the way he believes King David would have played his harp. His way of playing was very spontaneous, very uh, um, ad-libbed, straight off without having any um, form of music holding him back. So we are recreating that, not just how to play the instrument with skill, but how to worship and how to hear God's voice. Some correlate the reemergence of harp worship with the fulfillment of prophetic scriptures. Amos 9 speaks of the restoration of the Tabernacle of David and its primary function, uh, the prophetic harp that was flowing. Uh, we see that restoration taking place all over the world. The nations coming in to a relationship with God and uh, the Jewish people back in the land never again being plucked out. For professionally trained concert harpist Elizabeth Lilly, the school was a life-changing experience. What we're learning to do here is really to play from our hearts and to play what God is giving us in the spirit. So it's very different from when I, when I go to my jobs and play the music. It's very uh, accelerated. We've learned to compose music, we've learned to transpose music. But I just play from my heart to God. It's a different quality. <laughs> It's eternal quality. <laughs> As Michael David and his students took their newly acquired skills to the streets of Jerusalem after a 2,000 year absence, the celestial sounds of an ensemble of harpists could once again be heard rising from the city of David, the great harpist king of Israel. And that, to many, was a heavenly sound. Marnie Blom, Axe News Network, Jerusalem.